purpose of this video is to give the clinician proper instruction in creating a negative cast for use in fabricating an ankle, foot, or thosis. This video will include the materials necessary to create the negative cast, how to position the patient, application of the negative cast, positioning of the foot, and removal of the cast. There is a list of materials that are necessary to properly apply a negative cast. They include a spray bottle filled with clear water, a channel tube, and a protective strip which is included in the STS box, an actual STS sock and baggie that matches the shoe size of the particular patient you're casting, a pair of latex gloves, a small bandage scissor, a letter opener for removal of the cast, a roll of paper tape, and also, of course, a bucket of cool, clean water. It is essential that before you apply the casting material, that you first evaluate the foot and position the foot as if you were casting. It is important that the knee is slightly bent. A small pillow underneath the knee assists in this effort. The foot should be hanging over the table by at least 18 inches. You should attempt to put the foot in its neutral subtalar joint position with the mid-tarsal joint locked. The ankle should be placed at 90 degrees. And be sure to notice that the hallux has not gone into a plantar flexory position. Now that you're sure the foot can be properly positioned and you're familiar with the patient's position, take the protective strip and using the paper tape, apply it to the dorsum of the foot starting at the web spaces of the toes and extending all the way up the anterior aspect of the tibia. Next, take the tube and place it one half of an inch distal to the protective strip and also apply paper tape to hold it to the anterior aspect of the leg. Next, apply the plastic bag and be sure to push most of the air out. It is very important that the next step is performed with latex gloves on. Open the bag of the STS sock and remove the plastic wrapper that's around the fiberglass sock. Unravel the sock completely and soak it in water vigorously. Roll the wet STS material as if it was a stocking. Then apply the sock to the foot and leg, making sure that it's completely unraveled at its proximal end. Have the patient hold her foot or his foot at right angles. Spray the sock with water and massage for close contact of the sock against the skin, eliminating all wrinkles. Once the sock is completely positioned, make a small incision in the sock with the scissors at the distal aspect of the toe. This incision has to be no more than one centimeter big. Next, hold the foot in its proper position that you attempted before in the positioning part of this video. Make sure there's full contact of the STS sock with the arch of the foot. Make sure the neutral position of the subtalar joint is maintained. The foot is at right angles and the first ray is in a fully plantar flex position. Hold this position for about three to four minutes.
before removing the STS cast from the foot, be sure to mark the apex of both the medial and lateral malalai. Tap the arch of the STS sock to make sure it is fully formed and rigid. Remove the tube from the proximal aspect of the cast by simply pulling. Insert the letter opener into the small area of incision that you've made previously. Move the up opener to the anterior part of the ankle, exposing the dorsum of the foot, and then all the way up to the end of the cast at the tibial tuberosity. Open the cast to release the foot. Ask the patient to assist you in removing their foot and do not worry about deforming the cast. It will go back to its original position. Be sure to assess the cast before discharging the patient. Confirm that the forefoot to rear foot position is correct and the foot is fully dorsiflexed at 90 degrees to the leg. The final step in ordering the AFO for your patient is the completion of a prescription form.